Hey everyone, and welcome to the video. I'm North Central. We are among the tombstones here at the Holy Cross Cemetery in Fairmont, West Virginia. So I've been here a couple times before, and this is a fairly modern cemetery uh, back over, well, back over this way. Um, there are some of the older graves. Um, like I said, I've been here before. I've done a couple of videos. I will leave the links to both of those videos that I've done here down in the description and at the end of this video. But we're going to walk through and we're looking for veteran upright graves that we can um, treat with wet and forget. And along the way, we are also going to look at any veteran stones we might just happen to find like this one right here john peter kanjar west virginia private u.s marine corps 1906 to 1962 nice plaque all right guys so this is john v dush 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 Pennsylvania Sergeant HQ CO 605 SVC Battalion Engineer Corps World War I July 18th 1892 to December 3rd 1960 I'm glad we found one in fact there ought to be several of them here in the cemetery let's go up here here's another one Anthony Jacuiz Private Army Air Forces World War II, that's pretty cool. 1926, 1976. A couple of stones here. Charles R. Harkin, Hawkins, U.S. Army World War I, 1893 to 1968. And here's his wife, Kathleen Barry Hawkins, March 3rd, 1892, July 14th. 1969 so this section a little section down here got some older stones in it we'll look at them as we walk down through i don't think there's anything in there most of that is uh is children but you just don't ever know so this cemetery does have some interesting monuments in it and of course i'll show them as well here's a veteran grave right here it's still actually fairly white. Maybe another one over there. All right. Joseph A. Fox, West Virginia, Sergeant Infantry, March 19, 29. Yeah, I'm kind of worn. Another one, I think, over here. Oh boy. Oh, nope. See the cross? Yep, nope. Not a military. They don't make their crosses that big. At least, not that I've seen. This is a Ford, John S. Ford. It's pretty cool. Great big cross. Look at this one leaning. So the camera is straight up and down. Meaning a lot. Too much more and it's going to topple over. That'll be a shame. Joseph Robert Burns, West Virginia, Y2 USNRF, World War I, 1891 to 1963. Michael Andrew. Barry, South Carolina, Private U.S. Marine Corps, World War I, Purple Heart, 
GS 1889 to April 29, 1961. Hmm. A lot of cemeteries after 1970-ish, 1980-ish, kind of uh, proclaimed that they weren't going to have marble headstones anymore. Some of them have been way before that. And the reason being is that this is, is it not the climate for it. They tend to de de deteriorate uh, fairly rapidly within a few hundred years. So they said that they would just do granite, look at this, all these stones off their, off their markers. Huh. Oh, no, wait. No, they're not. So that's a marker, and that's a marker. Huh. Interesting. Back to back. I'm not seeing any more upright headstones just those three a lot of veterans that a lot of veterans that are here have private stones a lot of them don't even get foot stones <coughs> Thomas P Sarsfield Jr., West Virginia, S2, USNR, World War II, 1926-1948. Died young. It's a big mausoleum there. I see one over here. Let's go over there. Here's a bronze. Fortunately, that one's too new. 1920. Zane R. Mazur, Corporal U.S. Army, World War II, 1917-1978. The grave that's right here was is within the threshold of I don't show. So there's a couple of stones over here. We'll get these. Benjino A. Martinez, West Virginia, PFC 9 Bomb and Gunner, RGSO AAF, World War II, 1898 to 1958. There was another one just right up here. James A. McCain, West Virginia, Tech 5, Company C, 283, Engineer, CBN, World War II, 1909 to 1958. Steve Coach, Jr., West Virginia, Tech 5, 1, Medical Battalion, World War II. 1927 to 1952. Let's see if I can't see any more here. Let's walk down this way. I do want to pay my respects to my friend Ambrosio Campanelli, who is just right down here. So this is Ambrosio Campanelli, 1894 to 1927, World War vet, World War I vet, uh, Company 156 Trans Corps, killed in the Evertsville Mine Explosion Number 3. Here's a close-up of his picture. And if you look right here, right there, he has a U.S. World War I uniform on. 
one of the larger stones in this section. I do have a sort of a video on him. It's about the uh, a little bit about the Evertsville mine disaster, and uh, it shows uh, Ambrosio there. So while we're walking through this older section here, I want to take a moment and let you know that uh, I do have a Facebook page now that is dedicated uh, to this. It's called, uh, of course, North Central. So if you go to Facebook and look me up, you'll find me. Send me a friend request. Join the family. We can. Uh, the more people that join, uh, the more we can like and share. And uh, all the videos that I drop on YouTube, I will, I will start to drop on um, on the Facebook page. Here's one right here. Yeah, we'll see if we can't get the YouTube uh, page uh, a little bit more popular and uh, drive a little bit uh, more people to it. So I appreciate everything that you guys do, man. I really do. But uh, let's look at, look at this veteran right here. So this one is uh, way down on the ground. And I can't really read it. That's a shame. That's way down on the ground. That's maybe 15, 16 inches tall. And can't really read it. But things like that stone sinking in the ground like that, it happens. Uh, these federal stones are about 220 pounds a piece. They're only sitting on a 13 by four inch, you know, base. It's not very big. So every once in a while they have to be raised up and leveled or else they'll sink down in the ground like that and you'll never see them again. Some older stones back in here. I don't see anymore, guys. I do not see anymore. Okay. Hey, guys. So, so you guys need to forgive me for for breathing a little bit hard. I just walked up this big hill. This whole cemetery is on a a big incline. But as for the Facebook page, there are a couple requirements for me to befriend you. Number one, you need to have an active account. Number two. You need to have an account that's been active for a while. Um, if I click on it and there's, uh, you know, only a few different things on there, that's what I call a dummy account. No dummy accounts allowed. No new accounts, no dummy accounts. Those types of things are dangerous. So I don't play the, uh, the three strike rule. If you post something uh, on, on my page, on anything that I put up or somebody else puts up that is, well, Anything other than nice, uh, you're gone. No, no three strikes. One strike, you're done. So that's the requirements. Uh, subject to change as, as I see fit going forward. <laughs> but I'm going to get the wet and forget, and we're going to go treat these graves. All right, guys. So initially, I missed this one. Uh, this is a uh, this is a new one, newer. Uh, William Kenneth Reiner, Private U.S. Marine Corps, Vietnam, May twentieth, nineteen fifty-two, August twenty-third, two thousand and three. He does have a little bit of uh, lichen growth on it. 
this is uh, this is granite. This is not marble. I really still want to treat it. This base right here is made out of marble as well. guys I'm gonna go ahead and treat this even though it's down on the ground too far that's okay because I know what's below the ground doesn't have any of this growth on it it might be stained from the ground at least they don't have the growth on it All right, guys, so that is it. All the upright stones that I have found, at least. Holy cow. <laughs> Pause that. Because I just found another one. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and uh, treat this one. Wait till you see this one. This one's even further. Yeah, this one's way down in the ground, guys. We're gonna go ahead and treat it, though. All right, so I'm pretty sure that uh, that's it. There is no more upright stones in this cemetery and I say that because there's always one or two left that you know you just don't see all right guys so that's going to do it for the day uh, it's time for me to head on home and as always I'll see you guys in the next one